In the interest of both cost and safety, it's vital that the air-oil separator in your compressor exactly matches your machine's requirements. Essentially, air-oil separation is the final filtration process within an oil-lubricated compressor. Its function is to extract and liquefy the oil present in the compressed air vapor and return it back to the air end. However, things may not go to plan if this critical component is made from substandard materials or contains unsuitable filtration media. Filtration media that is too dense will restrict airflow, creating an increased pressure differential across the element. Consequently, the compressor will continue to think its target pressure hasn't been reached when in fact it has. The result, longer on load times and increased energy costs. It also means your compressor has to work harder to generate the additional pressure needed to compensate for the pressure drop, putting unnecessary load on your motor and further adding to your energy costs. Multiply this extra power requirement across the life of the filter element and costs soon start to accumulate. As a basic rule, for every 138 millibars pressure difference between the pressure vessel and the delivery port, your motor becomes 1% less efficient, adding 1% more to your running costs. So a 100 kilowatt motor would consume an additional 1 kilowatt for every 138 millibars pressure difference. The greater the pressure drop, the greater the cost. Inadequate separation materials can also allow oil vapor to pass through, otherwise known as carryover. This not only contaminates pipelines and reduces the life of filtration and drying equipment downstream, but is also costly due to oil being lost into the network. There's also the danger that the machine becomes inadequately lubricated if oil levels get too low. A separator losing oil at 6 parts per million could lose around 5 milliliters of oil every hour or 1 liter every 200 hours, adding more avoidable cost to your annual bill. In addition, there's the risk of a complete collapse of the air-oil separator due to increased pressure differential or, if the element isn't suitably earthed, a fire caused by static discharge. And don't forget, if something does go wrong, you're effectively on your own. Using non-genuine parts voids your warranty. Cheaper, non-genuine parts can sometimes seem like a cost saving, but they rarely amount to a false economy. Any small saving made with the initial purchase price can be cancelled out very quickly and then ends up costing more over the component's life with increased energy costs, loss of lubricant, through carryover, damage to downstream equipment and pipelines, a potential fire risk, and not forgetting that using non-genuine components voids your warranty.